Hello, welcome back to Fresh K-Town. After taking my old hydroponic system down, I had a lot of work to do to get my greenhouse functioning again. So welcome to today's hydroponic rebuild and aquaponic build video. In case you haven't seen my last video, I was forced to take my hydroponic tomato system down after it was so overgrown I couldn't enter my greenhouse. I had around 30 plants in the old system, which was way too many. I decided for my new tomato system I will just be adding 12 plants, and for my new strawberry hydroponic system I will only be starting 6 plants for now as my already existing strawberry plants have grown runners which I will use to start the plants for my hydroponic strawberry grow. Seedlings, I went shopping for all the equipment I needed to get my hydroponic and aquaponic systems running again. So I went out and bought an aquarium pump, an air pump, an air stone, vinyl tubing and a filter for my aquarium. And to actually build the system, I followed the same steps that I had shown you in my original hydroponic build video. I just made sure that I would start my plants first thing, so when my system is done, they were ready to go right in. So just to remind you on what I did to get the system ready. I put the hooks for the pipes on the wall, drilled holes in the PVC piping and disinfected everything. To see everything in detail, make sure to check out my first hydroponic build video. So when the system was running and the plants were ready to be placed in, I went out and bought 4 goldfish. Why goldfish? They are the most resistant fish that aren't that hard to care for. The fish will partially feed the plants with the nutrients that they need to grow. If I had a bigger aquarium, I could have a fully organic hydroponic system. However, as the fish don't produce enough nutrients for the plants to grow, I still have to add some synthetic nutrients I added to my hydroponic system previously. Before you get worried, however, the extra nutrients don't harm the fish at all. So far, my aquaponic system has been running smoothly, except for a small algae problem that I tried to fix with a second filter. Thank you for tuning in to Fresh K Town. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment. And if you don't want to miss out on anything that I'm doing in my greenhouse, make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow us on Instagram. See you next time on Fresh K Town.